candle just loves to go crazy while I'm filming these kind of videos and I turn off the lights. That's cool. You do you. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kira. And if you want to stick around, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hi, in every video I say the bell does nothing, so I'm not going to say that this time. Um, I post really regularly, uh, almost every Tuesday at 2.30. If I don't post, it's because I was busy with school. Because if you are in university or you have done university, you know how time consuming it is. And sometimes don't have time for anything else. But if you're seeing this video, it means I had time to film something. So today I thought it would be fun to do another paranormal game or a scary game that you can play, which I don't recommend you play, but you can. So today we're going to be talking about Red Door, Yellow Door. And if you haven't watched my Backwards Man video, go watch that. What are you doing? But if you have, you know that I... I turned off the lights and I told this spooky story and I think that needs to be a normal thing when I am posting about scary paranormal games. So let's do that. There we go. So Red Door Yellow Door is a scary paranormal game that you can play at sleepovers, which I do not recommend. So maybe don't do it. The ritual or game is also known as Black Door White Door or Doors of the Mind which I think Doors of the Mind sounds way cooler than Red Door, Yellow Door. So the point of the game is one person acts as a guide and puts you in this type of trance and leads you through doors and rooms in your mind. To play this game, you'll need at least two people. So one is the guide and the other one is the subject who gets put into the trance and goes into their mind. If there is more people that you are with while you're playing this, they just sit there and be as quiet as they can. So you are now probably wondering, what are the rules? And I am going to tell you. Although I do not have the rules memorized, so I'm, again, I'm going to be looking over and reading the rules to you. So, step one. The guide sits down on the floor, cross-legged, with a pillow on their lap. You lie on the ground with your head on the pillow and close your eyes. Step 2. Raise your hand in the air and try to relax. Your eyes must be kept closed throughout the entire game. Step 3. The guide starts to massage your temples with their fingers in a circular motion, while chanting, Red door, yellow door, any other color door over and over. If there are any other people in the room who are watching, they should also do the chant with the guide. Step 4. When you feel yourself slipping into a trance and you can see a room or doors in front of you, lower your arms. This is the signal for the chanting to stop and the game to begin. Step 5. The guide asks you questions, getting you to describe your surroundings and prompting you to open doors. Whenever the guide asks you a question, you should answer it. So here are some examples of the questions that you could ask. Are you in a room? Can you describe the room? What color are the doors? How does the purple door make you feel? Open the purple door and go through it. Those are just examples. You can ask any question that relates to whatever your person is seeing. Now. With every game, there is advice and warnings that you must understand before you go into the game. So here are some of the warnings and advice that you need to strongly take into advisement when you are playing the game. So number one, if you encounter people in the rooms, it may be wise to not interact with them. Usually they will turn out to be evil or be trying to trick you. Number two, if you find yourself in a room full of clocks, leave immediately. Clocks can trap you. Number three, you can go wherever you want, but it is better to go up than it is to go down. Number four, light things and light colors tend to be better than the dark things and dark colors. So if you enter a black room, maybe don't go in it, turn back around. But if you see a light blue door and inside the room is 
light blue, let's say, then you are pretty safe to go in there. Number five, if you become trapped in a room, you have to try and wake up or you will be trapped in the trance forever, which is it's a scary risk <laughs> because if the person who is your guide doesn't know that you are stuck in there, how are they supposed to know when to wake you up? Number six, they say that if you die in the game, you also die in real life. So avoid anything that can kill you, please. <laughs> Cause yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> On this channel, we like to choose life. <laughs> Number seven, if you encounter a man in a suit who makes you feel uneasy, you should end the game immediately. Number eight, in an emergency, if you're unable to wake up, it may be necessary for the guide to shake you roughly until you do wake up. So those are the rules and warnings and just everything about the game that you need to know if you decide to play it. So while I was looking up the rules and stuff for the game, I also did come across someone who was talking about their experience with uh, Red Door, Yellow Door, and I would like to share that with you. <laughs> so the person says, Last year my friend taught me and a couple other friends how to be guides, and we started a trend within our year. Everyone was playing it and everyone really loved it. Quite often there would be people who saw this girl who looked like our old music teacher except with the lack of eyes and a face. It was really unusual. So like I said, you will never know what you will encounter when you walk into rooms or anything while playing this game, but it is better to be cautious if you do play the game and to avoid anything very scary, anything that makes you feel uneasy or unusual, but that is pretty much it. For this video <laughs> so like i said please be careful if you do play any of the games that we talk about on this channel so if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you didn't you can give it a thumbs down doesn't matter to me also let me know in the comments if you have ever played this game because this is a very popular game i've heard of it before or let me know if you're gonna try it and then tell me what happens when you do that concludes our video today for red door yellow door <laughs> So anyway, have a good morning, evening, or night, depending when you're watching this. And remember, if you decide to play this game, make sure if you see any clocks, men with no faces, or anything unusual, get out as fast as you can. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>